pros and cons to the Baylor versus BYU game. The cons, they gave up 342 yards passing, which included five passing plays over 20 yards and a rushing yard touchdown by Jaron Hall. The defense gave up two for two on fourth down for BYU's offense. Of course, the ball, offense turned the ball over once, but with Gary Bohan's interception, but they had no points allowed, and it's not really a bad thing at all. Now, the pros, that 303 yards rushing for, on 47 attempts for four touchdowns. Gary had 18 completions out of 28 attempts for 231 yards and one touchdown and one interception. 22 first downs on offense, sent for 15 on third down, four, two for four on fourth down, which I think they should have went for field goals on there, but just to get, that was in the first half. They could have had a field goal each, so the lead at halftime could have been bigger. But that's not really a huge con, but it's still one of those tedious. What are you thinking? Dylan Doyle, the linebacker, had a two-yard rushing touchdown and a two-yard receiving touchdown. Abram Smith had a great game, 27 rushing attempts for 188 yards with three touchdowns. Eb Tristan Ebner had 11 rushing attempts for or 95 yards. Tyquan Thornton had five receptions for 84 yards. R.J. Sneed had five, six receptions for 72 yards. 35 minutes, 36 seconds on time of possession on offense. No sacks allowed and only allowed two targets for loss. That's pretty good on offense. The defense held BYU to 67 yards rushing. And the defense even had five sacks and seven tackles for loss. That defense did force a, a fumble and they scored on offense on that turnover, so that's another pro. Five for 14 on third down again for BYU's offense. That's pretty dang good. They only allow four, 15 first downs for BYU in general. No penalties in the game, which is a first one in Baylor history. Isaac Power only had two punts, 403 yards, which to long was 53 yards. Isaiah Hankins made every extra point and a 30 – one yard field goal. Well, also Noah Rushenberg, the kicker, he did it a uh, onside kick during the game too, and Baylor recovered it. Of course, on a special on the re on the receiving team on kickoffs, they recovered an onside kick as well from BYU. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like, subscribe button, hit subscribe to Three Sixty Five Sports CFB with JD the Gridiron Expert. American Football Network, Chicago Sports Network, Golden Blue New. Take care, and i see y'all later. And thank you for giving me up to 110 subscribers now. I appreciate it. Sick up.